I bailed so many times. I think I bailed on him like four or five times. And then he was like, you know what? I don't have any more work for you. Um, not for like the next couple of months. Cause I was, I was nervous. I was like, I don't know, like, this is scary. Yeah. So he's like, whenever you want to take this seriously, hit me up. But for the meantime, if you actually like want to get into like real and I have a friend who's an agent in the industry, um, here's his number. If you ever want to pursue that. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like I saved the number. It's actually really nice that, cause initially he wanted to sign you to a contract where you would only appear right. at, for him. Mm -hmm. And then when you flaked on him a bunch of times, he was like, here's somebody else's number who can help you get into all of the yeah. other productions that I was trying to keep you from doing with this contract. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was meant to be, that's the way I look at it. It was definitely meant to be because it worked out mm -hmm. like to my favor. I ended up getting, I think I had like a bad night at the club. I was like, fuck this shit. Like I'm going to go do now. Fuck this. Mm -hmm. I like did all my research. How much do stars make? Like how much could I make? And you know, what do I need to do? Do I need to get my done? Blah, blah, blah. Like I like did all my research and I ended up calling the agent. Um, I won't say his name, but oh, yeah. he was, you know, he was amazing. He was my first agent. I have so much love for him. Um, and he flew me out to Miami, got me like a week's worth of work. And it was just, it was love at first sight. I was obsessed. Like mm. I had fun with, or I enjoyed the the life. I, I was 19. So I'm like, this is like, so new and exciting and wrong and like dirty but fun and like I don't I didn't know what to make of it but I it just felt right within me mm -hmm. and so I just kept going and it just continued to flourish and I'm like okay this is exactly where I need to be this I had to be triggered and emotionally affected by some dirty bartender who dated a porn star for me to get exactly where I need to be in life. I truly feel that. Like, I think it was like a karmic destiny or something. <laughs> Isn't it so interesting how the universe works in like such mysterious ways? It's so crazy. Yeah. I, I look back on it and I'm like, holy shit. Like if I wasn't so like boy crazy, this probably would have never happened. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been like a lawyer. Yeah. I don't know. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not a lawyer. Working at a, you know, at a desk somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> So but tell me about your actual first scene. My first scene was, um, it was Fiesta. Oh my God. You're like the third girl who's told me that their first scene was come Fiesta. It's every, that's how the they get you. Weeks. That's how they get you. They get you with the come Fiesta. It is like their favorite thing to break the cherry is with a fucking Fiesta. Like everybody that I know, their first scene is a Fiesta. And if it's not, you're weird. Like get the fuck out. You're not part of the club. You know, like you're not part of the fiesta club <laughs> so it was like i remember being like so fucking unbelievably unbearably nervous like i was literally like ooh, like i was like shaking i didn't know what to like i wasn't like familiar with you know cleaning out they handed me a douche and i was like what the fuck am i supposed to do do i stick it in my ass like what do i do with this do i drink it like i had no idea and i had to go and douche and like i hadn't like mastered my you know, my, um, my clean out like technique, my clean out routine for like, a yeah. So like, this was just very new for me. And I remember I cleaned out, I showered, I just did what I had to do. And then I put on the little outfit. They gave me a kind of like a basic line of like what I need to do. And I remember like, I was just so fucking nervous. I don't even remember. It was like kind of a blank, but when I got to the point where like, we had to like do the, I remember like, I just went primal. Something inside of me just shut down. Like I turned off and I just like did it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know if I was good or not. I was really insecure about it. I remember like kind of just laying there with my eyes closed. Like I was like, not like being violated, but I was just like, oh my God, what the fuck am I doing? You know? <laughs> Cause I was like young and yeah. naive and nervous. And I remember like in that moment, I'm like, my dad's going to fucking kill me. Like this <laughs> fucking sucks. I'm like, holy shit. I'm sorry, mom. Like, I don't know. Like I was like freak. I was geeking out a little bit. I'm not yeah. going to lie, but I just, I got through it. And then I remember when they were done, they, uh, the director or no, the, the male talent that I worked with that day, he took me back to the model house that I was staying at. And he was so cute. He was so gracious. He was like, she was fucking amazing. One of the best we, we've had so far. Blah, blah, blah. Like they they always say that about all the Mm -hmm. little whores, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, thanks. <laughs> I know I wasn't that good, but it was like, he was being so sweet. So I felt very, right out of the gate, very welcomed and mm -hmm. very loved and held. And like, there was like nothing to be, be afraid of. Nobody's going to like, 
make fun of me. Like I felt very, very welcomed with mm-hmm. open arms by everyone, mm-hmm. you know, even though I felt in my heart, I was like, oh, this is the first scene ever that was like trash. I laid there mm-hmm. like a freaking baby, you know, like I didn't know what I was doing. But after that, I think I got into the motion of things and I, I got, you just get the hang of it. It's like riding a bike. Eventually mm-hmm. you don't, you're not so nervous. Eventually you get used to being in hair and makeup. Eventually like the routine becomes a thing and then you just, you just get used to it and you kind of work into like a routine of like how you open up to camera. And like, it, yeah. I had to learn that as I went on though. Like there were so many things I didn't know in the beginning. I didn't know to point my toes. I didn't, mm. I didn't know my angles, you know, like there was like certain things that I didn't know how to do yet. So like some of my very first scenes are like my most embarrassing ones. Cause I had no fucking idea what I was doing. Like, Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.